All right. To begin, I just added this video to my timeline, and I'd like to replace the TV screen with my own video. To do that, let's start by dragging the TV replacement video clip onto the track above your main video. And I'll just set my top video's duration so that it matches my bottom video. Now double-click your top video in the preview to select it and use a handle to resize it so that it's smaller than the TV, then move it so it's positioned inside the TV. For the next steps, it really help if you zoom into your preview so that you can see the TV clearly. I'll set mine to 100% and then use a preview slider to reposition my zoom to the TV. Next, go over to the effects panel and type corner pin into the search box. Drag the effect onto your top video clip. Now make sure your top clip is selected on the timeline and go over to effect controls. In here, Select the corner pin effect you just added so that you can see these points on the corners of your video. Mine are a little hard to see because of the static drag, the corner handles, so each one matches its corner of the TV. I'm not going to worry about getting mine perfect tag, you get the idea. Once you're done, zoom back out by selecting fit. And there I have my guy watching some gameplay. Okay, this works fine for still shots, but what if your TV is moving in the frame? For this, it's best to use footage with a green screen TV. To save time, I already have my timeline set up. Since it's basically the same as last time, put the replacement footage on top and video with the actual TV on the bottom. In the preview, position your footage over the top of the TV, but this time make it bigger than the TV so it stays inside of it easier when the camera moves. Once you have it all set up like this, move the bottom clip on your timeline above your top clip like this. Now let's go over to the effects panel and type ultra key into the search box. Drag the effect on your top clip, which should now be the clip with your green screen TV. Okay, next, make sure your top clip is selected on the timeline, and then go over to alter key and effect controls. In here, click the eyedropper tool and select the green screen in your video. All right, and there's my gameplay clip. It looks good for the first second, since I made my gameplay video bigger than the TV, but eventually the camera moves too much and my footage ends up off screen. To fix this first, let's move the playhead right before my gameplay goes off screen. Then make sure you select the bottom clip on the timeline and go up to effect controls. Click the stopwatch next to position and scale to create certain keyframes. Then move the playhead to the end of your clip. Then adjust the position's X and I values so that your footage goes back inside the TV. Finally, you may need to increase the scale a bit if the camera is moving closer to the TV like in my shot. All right, now when I play this back, it works perfectly. All right, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you next time.